Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about the brand new sidearms weapon pack that is coming to the Hunter Call of the Wild. That's right, we're getting some brand new content, a new DLC that is coming. In today's video, we're going to talk all about the Expansive World stream that happened this morning. Jaxie Beard went out and field tested all three of the brand new sidearms handguns that are coming to the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're going to talk about each one and talk about basically all the details, all the information on each one in this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to drop a like on it by clicking that little like button down there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but let's just jump straight into the video. All right, so we finally got some hype surrounding Call of the Wild. We know what the next update is going to be, the next DLC with the next update. We know what that's going to be. We don't know yet if uh, any other big updates are coming when this DLC will be uh, released. For example, Silver Ridge Peaks. We don't know if that is going to be getting updated. I'm sure we're going to find out more as we get closer to the release of this DLC. We don't actually have a release date for this uh, weapon pack yet, but I'm sure we're going to find out soon. Jaxi did mention that this is going to probably most likely be a sim ship, so a PC and and the consoles getting it at the exact same time. I do also believe there's going to be early access, so I'll keep you guys posted as to when that's going to be starting. But let's just get into a little bit of information. Let's dive into each one of these new, brand new uh, pistols that are coming to the game. Starting off with the 45 Rolleston, we've got two different skins for this, two different types. Okay, we've got the Cavalry and we've got the Frontier. All three of these new handguns have two variations of each. The 45 has five rounds. It is a five round revolver. The weights of these guns, all three of these handguns are only one unit of weight so that is going to I think be huge in whether or not people are going to actually carry these in their loadouts so and we'll talk more about that as we get into the 10 millimeter and the 243 as well this could be a very very interesting addition to your loadouts in the game you guys and save you a lot of weight but we'll talk more about that especially with the 243 so the 45 classes two to five with the 45 ammo okay there's two different types of ammo for this gun we've got the flat nose and we've got the full metal jacket each with different statistics and lastly the 45 will not be compatible with any of the sites at least not upon its release at least not right now you cannot put any sites or optics on the 45 i thought the 45 looked really solid really really accurate uh it sounded really nice the animations looked really really good for it um the reload animation for the 45 is very in-depth they've put a lot of work and time into it um it's a bit of a slow reload but it does look really cool all right let's talk about this new 243 pistol that's coming so this thing is a single shot 243 um handgun okay it's one unit like I said the weight is only gonna be one unit for this thing so this is gonna fit in and make a lot of sense for loadouts you guys you'll be able to put away the 243 you'll be able to put away that two to six or you know any weapon that you need to cover class two class three you'll be able to put that away and just carry the 243 you know unless you're specifically hunting something of that class range right maybe if I'm going out grinding foxes or something I'm probably not gonna take the 243 pistol I'll probably stick with my rifle to have those extra rounds given that this pistol is only a single round before having to reload but like you know in your standard loadouts you could e very easily just put away your 243 or whatever it is you're carrying the Mosin and just grab the 243 pistol instead it's only going to take one unit it's going to free up a lot of space in your backpack so I can definitely see this being a very relevant weapon it's something I'm definitely going to be using the 243 you can also attach any rifle scope to it so you can pop the Hyperion on it really really nice um, it also shoots up to 200 meters I think it says 150 meters effective range and you can actually zero it up to 200 so really really nice uh, it looked really nice. It sounded really good. And uh, I am definitely excited for the 243 Cuomo. It comes in two different skins, champion and competitor. Um, and yeah. And then last, but certainly not least, is the 10 mil. We've got a Glock in the game. It's a 15 round mag Glock, which is insane. I don't know if I'll ever be using up all 15 rounds before reloading this thing, unless maybe it's like a self-defense situation where like wolves are attacking you and you're just uh, going ham and unloading on them. So yeah, 15 rounds pretty crazy that's a lot of rounds before I have to reload uh, it's a semi-automatic uh, it comes in two different skins the 40a and the g4 ls the 40a being the black variation and the g4 ls being the tan uh, desert storm looking uh, variation which I really like I'm definitely gonna be using that tan version it looks really cool it's almost got a gold look to it two different shades of like a tan kind of beige color it looks really really sharp the 10 mil is two to six okay class is two to six so again all of these weapons two to five for the 45 two to six for the 10 mil and then of course the 240 
43, 2-6 as well, just like the rifle. But uh, the 10 mil, so you can't shoot bears with it, you can't shoot the class 7 animals and get full score, but 2-6 to six gives you quite a bit of diversity. You can definitely be using this for a lot of different style hunts. Um, again, it's only a one unit of weight, so you can pop this into your, your inventory, into your loadout without taking up a whole bunch of weight. Um, really, really cool, something to just have on your hip all the time. I can see myself definitely adding this into a lot of my different loadouts. Um, we got two different types of ammo. We've got the hard cast, we've got the jacketed hollow point. The hard cast is gonna be more pen penetration, okay, right? You're probably gonna be choosing that hard cast for the most part. Jacketed hollow point's gonna give you more expansion. So I think for the most part, I'm gonna be using the hard cast bullets with this weapon. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually take any sights. I do believe in the description of this gun, it does say that it takes the reflex scope, but I don't believe you can actually attach it right now in the game. I'm hoping they will change that. I would love to see a dot sight, uh, the reflex or the, you know, the marksman or the red dot being able to be attached to the top of this thing. I think it would look really nice and I think it would make for uh, an even better weapon, right? The 10 mil Devani, super, super sharp. Definitely looking forward to it, but that's pretty much it. Just wanted to cover uh, all three of these new weapons, go into a little bit of detail, create some hype. I'm feeling the hype. Finally getting to see some new stuff coming to the game. I'm very excited. Are you guys excited for this? Let me know down in the comments if there's anything that you would have added differently. Did you want sights and scopes instead? Were you hoping for something different? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell if you want notifications every time I go live and upload content. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.